everyone. Welcome to In the Workplace. My name is April Yue, and I am a research editor at the Institute for Public Relations Organizational Communication Research Center. In the Workplace is a video series on internal communication created this year with the purpose of sharing some of the research insights in a quick and easily digestible manner. With this series, we hope to help inform the day-to-day -day work that internal communication practitioners are doing. All right, everyone. I am so grateful to have a friend of and colleague of mine, Dr. Yongjae Lee, today to join the talk. So Dr. Lee is an assistant professor in public relations and strategic communication at the University of Miami. Her research interests include employee communication, internal issue management, corporate communication, relationship management, and public behaviors. So welcome to this episode, Dr. Lee. Hello, everyone. It's really great to see you all. <laughs> great. Uh, so today we will dig in an article Dr. Lee co-authored with Jared Kim, published in Public Relations Review earlier this year. The article is titled Cultivating Employee Creativity, through strategic internal communication, the role of leadership, symmetry, and feedback-seeking behaviors. So Dr. Lee, um, you explored how strategic internal communication can foster employee creativity in this paper. So why is this topic important for internal communication practitioners and scholars? Yeah, um, so my co-author, Dr. Jaren Kim, who is um, in now Yonsei University in South Korea, and I were interested in um, employees' creativity. So if we think about the term creativity, we often think of like more innovative ideas that require substantive organizational change, but actually it could also be a very simple ideas or suggestions related to um, employees' day-to-day -day tasks or their jobs. For example, um, um, how to save department money or how to develop a new filing system to increase a work efficiency and so on. So, and these creative ideas are critical for organizations survival and effectiveness and competitive advantage. And we believe that it is even more important after the pandemic uh, where many employees begin to work from home, right? So creative ideas um, to adjust to new work environment can be a very important organizational asset. Assets. And so we believe that internal communication um, as a core function of public relations may play um, a very critical role in enhancing such creativity of employees. So we basically wanted to identify the role of strategic internal communication in this research so that we could provide more uh, practical insights on effective communication practices. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so now that we're talking about mm -hmm. strategic internal communication, could you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit more about mm -hmm. uh, which mm -hmm. types of or mm -hmm. aspects of internal communication did you mm -hmm. look at in this paper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. So in this paper, uh, we particularly looked at um, two-way symmetrical communication environment and also leadership communication, especially both the supervisory level and CEO level of leadership. So although we know that there are various types of leadership, uh, we particularly focused on supportive or relationship-oriented leadership communication um, that emphasizes interpersonal connections between leaders and followers and caring, support and benevolence and so on. So specifically um, supportive or relational leaders try to communicate with their employees through openness and active listening, displaying empathy and being friendly and considerate of employees' personal needs and concerns. And we looked at how these types of leadership communication help organizations to build a two-way symmetrical communication system, uh, which is considered as a normative internal communication model and how this communication will eventually um, make employees to be created. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, mm -hmm. So what are some of the key findings? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, sure. Um, so what we found here um, was that leaders supportive or relational communication, both at the supervisory and CEO level, actually helped employees to perceive their organization's internal communication practices as two-way symmetrical. And this symmetrical communication helped employees to be more creative, and mainly because um, it actually encouraged employees to seek feedback on their work, performance, and evaluation to other internal members at work, such as a supervisor or other colleagues members in the same and other in the same department or other departments. So uh, we particularly find this feedback seeking behavior very interesting because this feedback seeking uh, from multiple sources at work is a very actually um, critical factor that increases employees creativity because employees can have um, more opportunities to obtain a wide range of useful information that is relevant to their job and also they could have differing perspectives on their performance. So basically when they are exposed to those um, diverse viewpoints, they need to cognitively determine how to respond to those views and this um, helps them to come up with new and novel ideas to improve their work performance. So this is basically what we found. That's impressive. <laughs> uh, so my last question would be on uh, um, on the implications of this study. So mm -hmm. what does this mean? What does this mm -hmm. mean for organizations and uh, mm -hmm. especially for public relations practitioners? What can they learn from the results of this study? But from our study, uh, we particularly want to highlight that supportive or relationship-oriented leadership that focuses on uh, building interpersonal relationships or showing benevolence and concern for employees' well-being and communicating with love and care is especially important to um, contribute to strategic internal communication system, which is symmetrical communication. So basically, we believe that um, public relations and internal communication practitioners should guide um, organizational leaders or CEOs to practice this kind of leadership communication by providing uh, appropriate trainings or manuals or even coordinating both formal and informal gatherings to um, give employees opportunities to share their ideas and concerns and needs where they can obtain valuable feedback from multiple sources at work. So yeah, we believe that this strategic um, internal communication efforts will help employees to actively engage in feedback seeking behaviors at work, which will eventually make them um, be creative in their work. And I think with that, uh, we've come to the conclusion of our time mm -hmm. today. Uh, I wanna mm -hmm. say thank you so much, Dr. Mm -hmm. Lee, for sharing your thank insights you much. with our mm -hmm. PR community. Yeah, so an Organizational Communication Research Center will continue down this path mm -hmm. of sharing some mm -hmm. of the insights mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. through this video series. And mm -hmm. again, everyone, we will see mm -hmm. you soon. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> Bye.